We're gonna try and push through these patches so we can get to the Shadowbringers next week. And I wanna get to Shadowbringers. You guys don't even understand. Um, so let's let's get into the game. Let's get in the game. Hopefully there's not a there shouldn't be a big queue. There's usually not a long queue in the in the middle of the day anymore. Maybe we actually can see my character. Right. Yeah, 21's not that bad. Hey BB10, I see you popped in. Um, what is going on here? More suggestions? No. Is Twitch giving problems still? No, there we go. Oh my god, I'm... Uh, I'm... If, if you can, just make sure you guys can hear me. Can you hear Yeah, you can. Yeah, you should be able to hear me. Oh, hey BB10. Um... Oh, hold on, let me go. Um... All right, it is. It is. Okay. <laughs> Twitch is giving me... Okay, good. Twitch is giving me problems today, and it's making me mad. But it looks like we're all right. All right, so anyways, I apologize for not being able to stream yesterday. I just I just wasn't feeling up to it. Um, it streaming, especially when I have to do a lot of reading, is it, and I have to project, it's a lot... It, honestly, it's a lot of... It takes a lot of energy. There are some days after I'm done reading for four hours and I'm just like, I am beat. <laughs> my chest is tired, my lungs are tired, and, um, but, and I didn't think I'd be able to do it yesterday after. They didn't put me out for very long, but I was just tired. So, anyways, um, we'll get back to, um, Shadow Hearts on Monday, because I'm actually working Tuesday this week, not Monday. Next week. But, uh, Let's finish up these patches. Let's fin finish up these patches so that I can get to Shadow um, Shadowbringers next week. Chewy, come on, get down. He is driving me crazy. Driving me crazy. All right, let me just check my retainers real quick. Oh yeah, we're done. Let's get these guys started again. Just real quick. They're actually um, going to resume selling the game again starting next week, I think, or is it the 25th? So, um, people who were interested in buying the game, I know, not you, BB10, <laughs> you just watch me, but they are, are, are allowing that again, so. And then they are, they have plans to, in to um, add new servers, but for the US, it's not going to be until August, which kind of sucks, because we're going to have to deal with this for another seven months, but, uh, new servers and relief from the server congestion is on the horizon. Alright, there we go. Alright, let us start, um, well, they're adding oceanic servers next week, I think. And then, it's, it's just, they had a whole thing up, coming up for what they're doing. And, um, but it's not really going to affect, affect us for a while here. Okay, new game plus. We are in Stormblood, part four. The shadow of mystery deepens as the man who appears, who wears Xenos' face continues to move unchecked, sowing the seeds of strife from the heart of, em of the Empire. All indications point to Ashian machination, and the arrival of a messenger at the Rising Stones sets the signs of the seventh dawn upon a path rife with peril towards an unknowable destination. Um, no, they're not as bad, but like during the week, like Tuesday and Wednesdays are pretty bad, and then like during the weekend, like if you try and log in at night, it's gonna be at least a f between a thousand, it's uh, one and two thousand Q. So, and yes, buttons. So it's like if I wanna play on uh, an evening, I've gotta get home from work, get logged in, and I can't log out for the rest of the night. Uh, Sisterly act. More of Donut. Well, it's evening for you. It is only 1 p.m. for me.
Hmm. All these people. Oh yeah, this is Hori's uh, brother. The Domans have much claim to the Revenant's toll as you and me. Their family. Thank the gods I made it back in time to see them off. Oh, that's right. We're going to see the Domans off. Oh, Rislin. If you've come here hoping for news, I'm afraid there isn't any. Everything is exactly as it was. Ishtola is still investigating primals in the Far East. Thangrid is still gathering intelligence in the Imperial provinces, and Alphano is still out there somewhere. There's no, there, there's been no word since his first scheduled report, nor does he respond to calls. And all the while, I'm just meant to sit around here waiting. It's driving me mad. Begging your pardons, I bear a message from the Eorzean Alliance. Thank the gods for that. We have a visitor. Welcome to the Rising Stones. If you have a message, I should be most eager to hear it. My lady, the Alliance leadership will soon convene to discuss the matter of Ashian interference, and they humbly request the presence of the Shions of the Seventh Dawn. Having assessed intelligence provided by the Alamegan resistance concerning the whereabouts of Xenos' remains, they too suspect Ashian involvement and wish to deliberate a suitable course of action. As the foremost authorities on, the, on our fold, your order's council would be most welcome. Of course, we would be glad to assist him in whatever way we can. With almost everyone else afield, I'd say this one falls to us. By which I mean, I'm not going on my own. You'll come with me, I trust. Well, of course I will. I think I'm gonna be left out of this. There you have it. We accept the invitation. Thank you. The time and meeting and the time and date of the meeting will be shared in due course, but I can confirm that the council will take place in Alamigo by your leave. I somehow doubt we'll have anything useful to offer. But standing mutely at a meeting would still be better than the nothing I've been doing of late. Let's make ready to depart, shall we? Bankrid? What's going on, man? Oh, shit. Alright, just be careful on the road back, you hear? Did I hear right, Riol? Is Bankrid coming back? Aye, that he is. Says he's acquired some important intelligence. Being in Garlean territory, though, he couldn't risk sharing the particulars in case the Imperials were listening in. So he said he'd head back to head back as quick as he could, and to make sure someone was waiting for him in the Alamegan quarter. Understood. Rislin and I will go. We're bound for Alamigo anyway, and there's sure to be time before the council begins. Come on, let's be off. Uh-oh. What? Well, who is the cow lady? Are we gonna see Cow Lady again? Who are you talking about, Cow Lady? Um, hold on a second. Are there any requests for dinner tomorrow night? Are there any requests for dinner? Okay. Um, I, my sister's asking if I want anything specific for dinner tomorrow, and um. Do you like the chicken cacciatore? He's not even listening. Oh! <laughs> Elder Seed Siri. Yes, she's gonna be there. You're gonna be seeing her. So what do you think? Malibu chicken or chicken cacciatore? I'm kind of leaning towards... Chicken cacciatore. Nah. Malibu chicken.
Hold on, I'm sending her a message. Okay. <laughs> Malibu, like Malibu, Florida. It's actually like a, a fried like chicken piece of chicken breast with um, ham and Swiss on top. And you eat it with like a um, a uh, mustard mayo sauce. It's so good. It's so good, you guys. The reason we call it Malibu Chicken, there was a restaurant, a string of restaurants that you uh, called Sizzler. Yeah, you probably wouldn't remember them, but they used to make it. They they used to they that what they would serve it, and that's how um, we learned about it. And then my sister started making it herself. They closed Sizzlers down a long time ago. It was, uh, they don't have them open anymore, but... Alright. I drank almost all of my hot chalky before we, I even started streaming. I made it way too early. There's no way I was gonna let it sit on my desk and not drink it. Oi. You two are a sight for sore eyes. Now all I need is water for my parched throat. Fetch me a cup, will you? Traipsing through Imperial territory is thirsty work. Uh, God, I needed that. I won't bother telling you to catch your breath. Whatever brought you galloping back to us, I assume it's urgent. Quite. Without further ado, then. After the successful uprisings in Doma and Alamigo, rebels in several other provinces were inspired to follow suit. Unfortunately, they did not fare quite so well. The Dalmascans paid the heaviest price. For their defiance, the Emperor made a show of raising their capital to the ground prompting many of their neighbors to abandon thoughts of resistance. Hmm. But not all have given up on liberty. Heartened by the news of Doma's prisoner exchange, some still believe that the Empire may one day be amenable to negotiation. We have the Shinobi to thank for spreading the good word. They have worked tirelessly to keep the subjugated informed. And a little knowledge can go a long way. There is at least a spark of hope, then. A spark in want of kindling, yes. The Alliance has already begun supplying materiel to resistance movements abroad, many of whom would otherwise struggle to continue the fight. The support effort has been led by the Sultana and the Elder Seedseer. The Elder Seedseer. We've both seen enough Alamegan refugees to know the consequences of oppression. And for their troubles, they have quickly earned a reputation as folk heroes in certain corners of the Empire. That is all for the provinces. As for the Garlean motherland itself. Mm. Our friends, the Populares, have suffered something of a setback, I regret to say. Talk is rife that Doma has summoned a primal, and the Empire's more liberal voices are being drowned out in the fearful clamor for retribution. And who did they think orchestrated this summoning? Oh, any but those truly responsible. Xenos has seen to that. Speaking of whom, the Crown Prince is recovering remarkably well. Well enough, in fact, to enable him to personally tour the provinces, putting the fear of the Emperor into the hearts of any would-be dissidents. He walks in plain sight, and none suspect him. Then it's as we feared. No. Yes. An Assian wears his skin. But which... which Assian? <laughs> <laughs> but it was not that which brought me here in such haste. During my time in the provinces, I learned many things. Yet at no point did I hear any report of a Doman emissary in the capital. 
But Alvano should have arrived by now. Could they be holding in there in secret? The possibility did cross my mind. But I have reason to believe he never reached his destination. Oh, no. As you know, Scions assigned to covert operations, such as Riol and myself, are issued special link pearls for communication in the event of an emergency. I mention this because it was originally Alfino's task to coordinate the response at headquarters, meaning he has one. And whose voice should I hear when mine recently crackled to life? You spoke with Alfano? Spoke with? No. I but heard his voice, and none too clearly at that. Two words were all I could make out. Uh-oh. The burn. The wasteland on the edge of Othard. Something must have happened to them there. There's no time to waste. We must make for the burn at once. I had a feeling you might say that. And? I can't very well sit around here drinking tea if Elfino's in trouble. You said yourself that this link pill was only to be used in emergencies. So I'm going, and that's the end of it. Thancred, why are you still wearing that over your eye? You're not even that blind in it. Seriously, buddy. Oh, far be it from me to change your minds. I don't get it. Why wear a patch over your eye if you can see in it? All right, hold on. I gotta close the uh, door to the closet that has our washing machine in it because it's 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 spinning and it's super loud. Super loud. Wow, that. It's against the already close. He's not a pirate. He is, uh, I don't know what. Is he a ninja? Well, it's a. It's it's a closet made specifically for a washing machine. It has a, um, water, uh, a water hookup and a gas hookup there so that, you know, you can put a, a stackable washer in there. So. Yep, yep, yep. We have a small house. We don't have like a washing like machine room or so. <laughs> yeah, or a basement. We don't have a basement to put it in. Yeah, we use gas gas for the washing machine. We don't have an electric washing machine. So. All right. I will leave the two of you to your task and see to my own. It heats the dryer. It's got a wa a dryer on top. The washing machine on the bottom. The gas is for the dryer. Well, though I am to neglect making preparations for the council, we must act swiftly before Alphino's trail goes cold. I propose we first pay a visit. Pay Hien a visit. He's sure to want to hear about these developments, and he may well be able to advise us on how best to reach the burn. A sound planned, and Yishtola is in Doma, is she not? I dare say she'd join you in the search if you asked her nicely. While you see to all that, I shall go and report my findings to the Alliance. You may leave any preparations for the Council to me. Thank you, Thank Crit. Right. To Doma, then. We have much and more to share with your Stola. What do you mean it's weird? It's pretty normal. It's, it's pretty normal to have a gas washing machine. Or dryer. A gas dryer. So we gotta get to the Domen Enclave. So why don't we just go the old fashioned way? Our east at the Domen Enclave. <laughs> hey, it's a, it's the US. We do things differently here, clearly. Probably very un um very inefficiently. Cause, you know. That's what we do. We're very wasteful over here. Hmm. 
Hmm, that is in that is curious indeed. While other matters demand my attention at present. <laughs> That wasn't me, that was the husband. I shall bear what you have told me in mind. Should you notice any change, do not hesitate to seek me out. Thank you, my lady. You are most kind. <laughs> well, well. Two faces from the dim and distant past. Come now, it hasn't been that long. Who is that you were speaking with? A local miner who, su who supplies crystals for the real rebuilding effort. Of late, he claims to have struggled to find a crystal with so much as a trace of elemental energy. Upon learning that I had some knowledge of ether, he came seeking my counsel. Just now, he brought me one of his recent finds. It was precisely as he described devoid of elemental e energy and airily reminiscent of the de-aspected crystals that manifested in Eorzea in the days prior to the calamity. He would be wise to investigate, or we would be wise to investigate this phenomenon more closely. <laughs> Indeed, but on a more positive note, the locals seem to have taken a liking to you. More an interest in than a liking to, I think. The sight of a Makote with a peculiar contraption upon her head has a certain novelty value in these parts. Any actual regard they may have for me, I owe wholly to you and the others who came before. Everyone here has been exceedingly cooperative, and I am pleased to report that I have all but concluded my investigation. <laughs> Simply put, by focusing one's will upon an ether-infused object of worship, it is possible to conduct a summoning. Oh god. Sniffles today. Hold on. Let me I, I haven't taken my uh <laughs> my uh steroids in a couple of days because I think it was like really drying out my sinus, but I think I need it. So yes, yeah, steroids right now. Sorry. Sorry, BB10. I know you don't like it when I sniff steroids. <laughs> so the fact that they are objects of worship is the key. They are themselves suffused with the requisite belief. Correct. Such sacred relics as the Kojin collect ob obviate the need for religious fervor in the summoner, Yotsuyu being the most obvious example. She had but to associate the artifact given to her by Asahi with the divine, and it served to amplify her desires and give them form. A form nourished through the power of crystals, also provided by her brother. And thus was Tsukiyomi brought into being. Which brings me to the question of preventative measures, to which I have yet to find a satisfactory answer. At present, I know of naught that will avail us, save to keep watch over the movement of relics and crystals, and if we did not have enough to keep watch over already. But I doubt you came all this way to hear that, that which may be perused in a report. Has something happened to Alphano? <sighs> we got to find him. Hmm, I shall join you in the search, of course. Thank you, Ishtola. I should be glad of the help, truly. Now, if there is nothing else, I shall go on ahead and request an audience with Lord Hian. Alice puts on a brave face, but she has little talent for concealment. We should join her at the Kienkan. <laughs> Not Ian, Hian! <laughs> All right. My report can wait. Finding Alpha Nome must take priority. <sighs> there you are. I've apprised Hian of the situation. I 
should not have allowed Master Alphino to leave without an escort, but it avails us not to dwell on the past. We must focus on what, we can, what can be done now. No, <laughs> Gary. Stop it. Stop it. You're, you're going to get me to want to go pour myself a drink. <laughs> I've been kind of wanting to do that. Maybe I'll do it after the stream. I don't know. Greetings, my friend. Alice has explained all to me. Needless to say, you shall have our full cooperation in that search, even if Alphano's trail does lead to the burn of all places. <laughs> no! <laughs> we'll see, we'll see. I might make another hot chalky, though, because I like having one on my desk while I'm streaming, but it's all gone now. The region known as the Burn occupies a special place in Garlean history. Every child in the Empire is familiar with, it, with the tale. In the distant past, it was averted land teeming with life, but successive summonings saw it dry, bled dry of ether and reduced it to a desert. It was upon beholding the devastation that primals had wrought that Emperor Solus was spurred to embark upon his crusade against their kind. The burn offers a glimpse of the future we seek to prevent. Know you of any reason why Alphano might have gone there? Aye, mischance. Though it lies on the route to Gar Garlemald, it is no place to make a stop. My guess is they encountered some manner of trouble there. In any event, I am of the same mind as Alice. We have no choice but to take our search to the burn. Given the considerable distances involved, tis best we went by bird. Rislin and I have your, have our yoles. You giddy. But you ready, Falcons, for the others. I shall gather your our swiftest birds. And near the House of the Fierce, there is an overlook. Pray join us there once you have seen to what your preparations. All right, all right. Gots to go to the House of the Fierce. I think we have a dungeon pretty soon. Pretty, pretty soon we have a dungeon. Let me look at the MSQ list. Don't freak out, BB10. Cheating. No, it's not cheating. I just want to see. <laughs> okay, so we are in fear of the. Oh yeah, yeah. There's, there's a, there's a dungeon like coming up right, right here. That now he's just giving me shit. With such a steed to bear me to and fro, I could perform my field work in a fraction of the time. Mayhap I shall try my hand at this Bardem's medal. <laughs> She'd make short work of it. Having named him an emissary of Doma, Lord Heen considers himself personally responsible for Master Alphino's safety. Not I, not I could say could would sway him from joining the search. Coming for you, Alphano. If everyone is here and possessed of a bird, let us away. Remember, our destination is a barren wasteland. There is no civilization to speak of for a hundred moms in all directions. Take care you do not lose your way. Entrance. Use the duty finder to enter the bird! We're already here. Okay, here we go. So, number one, I need to turn join party of progress off because I want us to see the whole dungeon and then we've got to do uh, the burn okay oh that was fast All right, let's Better get your uh, sunglasses ready, BB10. Make ready, friends. We are come to the burn. Everyone, land where you can! We must 
must wait out the storm. Uh oh. So I, oh yeah, this guy's just gonna pull everything. Which is fine. Got a Dragoon and a Dancer. We don't have any Sprouts though. No Sprouts. down on us. First boss. Big old scorpion. I was close. I almost got the. I almost got the, the AOE. I don't do this dungeon very often. I forget the other bosses. Girly and Mac. This is like this is like Mag Attack. This is definitely Mag Attack. Is this 
like an underground facility or something? I don't know. A lot of mobs. Let me get that chest while I'm at it. I mean, might as well. It's right there. I wonder if there are any characters in this game. Like, people made a character. If anybody's made a character named Rude Hero. That would be so awesome if they did. I mean, I'm not gonna re make, like make it roll another tune just for that, but I think it'd be really awesome. Yes! There needs to be some characters named Rude Hero out there. healers. I want a free heal or a free, I like, need. Okay. Get in. <laughs> Get in. There you Very giga worms. <laughs> uh, and look at these ants. They're horrible. They're horrible, I tell you. 
know how I feel about ants. <laughs> this is horrible. Yes, finally something I can meet on. Alright, last boss. Ice dragon. Except we're in the desert. How can it be an ice dragon? His name is Mist Dragon, so what's a Mist Dragon? Oh, come on. <laughs> oh, shit. People are taking <laughs> tons of damage. Come on, guys. Stop it. Stop it. Look at Stop. Look at the vulnerability. Stop. Stop taking avoidable damage. Right? <laughs> right? Woo! All right. Real cold fire. All right. They all left. Player comes. Okay. Ah, there 
There you are. Between contending with bloodthirsty beasts and sand in my every conceivable place, I had begun to despair of finding you again. He doesn't like sand. Do you recognize the crashed ship over yonder? Mistress Alizé and I briefly inspected it. It is the vessel that bore Master Alphano away. But there was no sign of him, nor of Maxima and his people. More Machina. It would seem they were involved in a struggle. There may be clues. We should split up and search the area. These were no ordinary soldiers. Those were our buddies, right? Are the guys traveling with Over us? Over here! The insignia on this man's uniform identifies him as one of the Emperor's personal guard. Hand-picked soldiers answering only to the royal family. That would explain why all the casualties are Garlean. They were fighting their own. You're saying the Emperor was behind all this? That Alphano is his prisoner? Well, we don't know that just yet. Calm down, Elise. Aye, we must not jump to conclusions. Besides, Alphano is more than capable of looking after himself, is he not? I suggest we return to Doma to consider our options. Whatever happened here, Master Alphano is long gone, and any subsequent search may safely be left in the hands of the Shinobi. Where in the world are you, brother? If you die on me, I will never let you hear the end of it. Oi. Forgive me, I need a moment. On pres uh, present evidence, we have no reason to fear the worst. More than I can, more than that I cannot say. We are no closer to establishing Master Alvino's whereabouts, and the suggestion of an Imperial plot only compounds matters. We have much to consider. Well, that was a decidedly uneventful journey. I almost found myself hoping for a sandstorm. Joking aside, I'd say our birds are due a good brush down and a treat or two, wouldn't you? Ian has a request for the science, except first I am going to the bathroom. Because that chalky milk, or hot chalky milk, chalky milk. Alright, hold it.
Okay, that's better. Sorry. She never responded. I asked about the dinner. Did she ever respond? Or I mentioned what I wanted Al Malibu chicken. She never responded. So I guess that's okay. I don't know. I had hoped to steal a moment's rest after our little outing, but it would seem duty calls. A foreign emissary arrived in my abs absence. Do not let us keep you then. Actually, I was wondering if you might join me. I cannot think of a guest who could fail to be impressed by the presence of the Scions. At least none I would be I should be happy to receive. Of course, if you think it will be useful. Thank you. Let us return to my manor then. Twenty nine degrees. I thought it was getting colder. Hold on. Twenty one twenty nine degrees. I wonder if I can get it to show hold on. See, that says Celsius. Edit location and unit. Oh, look at that. I don't want it to be. <laughs> now it says it's negative two. Look, negative two Celsius. It's going back. But that's an easy way to find the, uh... There you go. It's going back to... There you go. Uh, good. Uh, Chalky milk. <laughs> It's like negative two Celsius, but it's actually, t it's 29 uh, Fahrenheit, so. All right. Yeah, I found an easy way to find the, the conversion. I can just set it to Celsius, <laughs> but it's 29 Fahrenheit. It's actually warmer than it has been. It's warmer than it has been. It was pretty cold last week. brings you here? Oh, Alliance business. We have a request for Doma. Well, he and... Okay. But that can wait. They told me you were out searching for Alphino. Did you manage to pick up his trail? Okay. I'm sorry. I'm putting my blanket on because it is kind of chilly. If he wasn't at the crash site, he might still have escaped. We have to keep searching. And we will. Alphino embarked on this journey as an emissary of Dorma, and I hold myself responsible for his safe return. I will have our shinobi in the provinces search for him as a matter of urgency. Chin up, Alize. You'll get to admonish your brother for his recklessness yet. Well, someone has to do it. I'm sure he's going to be fine. There is one thing I'm not sure about, though. You said it was the Emperor's personal guard that attacked Alphino's airship. But the Popularis would never have been able to arrange the prisoner exchange without Varus's blessing. So why would he sabotage his own mission? Asians, <laughs> Butians, that's why. They may not have been acting on Varus' orders. The guard answer not only to him, but to his family. The crown prince included. When Yotsuyu summoned Tsukuyomi, Asahi was quick to proclaim that a dormant citizen had violated the terms of our agreement, that the negotiations had failed. And it is this version of events that is now being repeated across Garlemald. To hear the tale, one would think the prisoner exchange never took place. Plainly, someone is manipulating matters from the shadows. Most likely Xenos, or whoever it is that wears his face. 
Whichever Asian you mean. We all know the nature of our adversary. The servants of Chaos are true to their name. Their meddling has cost Dorma a chance at peace. Whoever it was that loosed his personal guard, the Emperor cannot be ignorant of these developments. We must proceed on the assumption that our treaty is indeed in tatters. But come, Lise. You have journeyed far. Let me hear your petition. Right. So, the big news is that Alamigo has agreed to join the Aeorzean Alliance. Well, I would hope they would. To make it official, and discuss where we all go from here, the leaders of the Five Nations are planning to hold a meeting, and we were hoping you might come too. We've already seen what we can achieve when we work together, and the Alliance hopes to work even more closely in future. They think it's our best hope of keeping the Garleans in check, and I agree. As do I. By coordinating our efforts in the East and West, we may be able to discourage them from committing their forces to a single front. I accept your invitation. I must, however, ask for time to attend to some pressing matters here. So... In light of recent events, the risk of Imperial reprisals is greater than ever, and I would not leave Dorma unguarded. Ere I depart, I must shore up her defenses. Understood. I'll let the Alliance know. We'll wait to hear from you before setting a date. The meeting's to be held at the Royal Palace in Alamigo, incidentally. Do you remember the way? Well enough. Please assure my hosts that I will not keep them waiting any longer than... <laughs> what was that? <laughs> what was that? <laughs> drop in the... <laughs> FPS drop. Oh my gosh. Consider it done. And thank you for agreeing to come. If we all put our heads together, we're sure to find the best way forward. For everyone. That was weird. Okay. So that means all of the Aorzean Alliance members are going to be there, including Connie Senna and <laughs> Emmerich de Morel. Yes! We're going to get to see Sir Emmerich again. Don't worry, Alphano's been through countless trials and come and come out stronger every time. He'll be back, I'm sure of it. Oh, yeah, I don't want to talk to you anymore. The Alliance would extend an invitation to Dilma. These, that the Alliance would... No, it wasn't Twitch. That the Alliance would extend an invitation to Dilma bespeaks the depth of their concern. Nor are they misguided. If Garlemald has fallen under Ashian control... The threat we faced is incalculable. Gerius assures me the task of searching is best left to her comrades. I shall trust to their experience and focus on what I can do. Oh yes. Oh yes. <laughs> While we are happy to cooperate with the Aorzean Alliance, there are many things that Doma must do alone. My advisors and I pres presently con will presently convene to discuss the matter of Doma's defenses. You are welcome to stay, of course. Had you not offered, I would have requested leave to remain. Where the Ashians are concerned, naught may be left a chance. As ever, we would benefit from your experience. I thank you for coming, Lise, even if it was on official business. I had hoped there might be time to show you the land you helped to save. But I will settle for a fleeting visit if it needs must. <laughs> there never does seem to be enough time for anything, does there? But I did get to see a little of the Enclave. You've made excellent progress, I must say. And soon you'll have the chance to see how we're doing on- we're getting on too. Till the meeting then. Um, Rizlin, I was wondering if I might have a word with you before I go. In private. Go on, my friend. I will send for Hakuro and the others in the meantime. Oh yes, we're getting some Emmerich. I'm so excited. Great! I'll wait for you at the docks. I don't know 
much he wants to talk to me about. This place is looking, looking up. It's looking up. <laughs> He's not gonna interfere. He's checking his retainers. Thanks for coming. Knowing you, you've probably guessed what I wanted to talk about. I always say, she's acting as if everything's alright, but it's clear she's barely coping. The Alice say I know is overbearing, willful, and reckless, and that's fine. It's how she deals with feeling weak. She has to keep moving or she's afraid she'll fall apart. A lot like me. But the thing about people like us is that we need someone to keep an eye on us. I had Papalimo, and now I have my friends in the Resistance, and Alice has you in the Scions. Before you start, I'm not going. I'm not saying you're neglecting her. I'm sure you aren't, and I'm sure you won't. But she's a good friend, and when I see her like this, I can't help worrying. So please, make sure you give her all the support she needs. All right? Nothing to worry about, seriously. <laughs> Stop worrying. Thank you, Rislin. It goes without saying, but if there's anything I can do, you only need to ask. Well, I'd best be off. See you in Alamigo. I can't wait until we leave Alamigo for good. I'm tired of going back to Alamigo. Ugh. Back to the kink and all. Chewie's a big old lump of cat just sitting right on my desk. Big old lump of cat. Ah, there you are, my friend. Everyone is assembled, so let us begin. If we are to ready ourselves for invasion, we shall need manpower, provisions, and time, all of which are in notably short supply. Candid as ever, you giddy, and correct, I concede. Fortunately, I have an idea. Tis plain no single nation can stand against the might of the Empire. And it was only with the aid of others that Dorma succeeded in winning her freedom. So, I mean to take a leaf out of our Eorzean friend's book and form an alliance of our own. In addition to those with whom we already share an understanding, I would reach out to Hingashi and Suinosato, and further afield to the myriad peoples of Nangsha and Dalmaska. I am under no illusion. Not all will answer the call. Yet disparate though we may be, we are united in our desire for freedom. If our neighbors could be made to see what is at stake, Asian machinations and all, Cooperation need not be so far-fetched a notion. It's machinations, Ian, not machinaken. Mach machinaken? Machinations, okay. It may even seem practical. Under the guidance of our former leader, Master Louis Soir, we once strove to unite the fractious city-states of Eorzea. I dare say that experience shall be of use in your endeavor. 
We should be glad of your wisdom. For the record, I would have been in favor of this plan even if it hadn't been my grandfather's. But I have to ask, how will we secure the time to carry it out? Not that anyone has forgotten, but the Garleans have airships. Lots and lots of airships. Should they catch wind of our plan, they could send an armada to overwhelm us before our alliance had even begun to take shape. Not if we deny them access to the skies. Mm, what are you thinking, Yustola? During our time in the burn, the Warrior of Light and I chanced upon some elegant ruins. Oh? As such ruins go, they were not particularly unusual. But something about the surrounding land struck me as odd. Faint though it was, its ethereal residue was uncannily similar to that of Azizla. Identical, in fact. For locations so far removed to share a single etheric signature is all but impossible. I conclude, therefore, that the Allegans created the floating continent with land taken from the burn. Hmm. Interesting. While that is a most intriguing theory, I fail to see what relevance it has to Dorma's defense. Azizla was enclosed in a powerful energy barrier, impenetrable even to an agrius class battleship. It occurred to me that those ruins may have enjoyed similar protection. I have no proof, but the Warrior of Light did report seeing a structure resembling other known Allegan field generators. All right, but even if we could put up such an energy barrier, it surely wouldn't extend beyond the limits of the burn. So what's to stop the Garleans flying around it? Fuel. The Dalmascan capital, Rabanasta, was a key imperial refueling point in the east. By laying waste to it as a lesson to the rest, the empire greatly hindered its own operations in the region. If an Imperial fleet were to advance upon Dorma, it would now have little choice but to travel, as the crow flies, over the burn. I see. A word of caution. Even assuming the generator still functions, raising a barrier of such a scale will require a prodigious amount of energy. And few places are so bereft of suitable crystals as the burn. Hmm. A source of energy. Tell me, did the Allegans make a habit of launching things into the sky? <laughs> I think they did. <laughs> a curious question. Besides Aziz La, I know of only one other notable instance. The Red Moon Dalamud, whose fall triggered the Calamity. Just the two occasions, you say? Then I believe I may have a solution to our energy problem. You do? I may. To find out for sure, we would need to visit the Azim Steppe. Which would, I now see, present the perfect opportunity to discuss an alliance with the Zayla tribes. <laughs> How very neat. What say you then? Shall we see whether this road leads? How very neat. <laughs> okay, Ian. Okay. Oh, I think there's gonna be a good trial coming here. Or solo duty. Good solo duty coming up. In the field of Aetherology, the Azim Step remains unbroken ground. Having missed your last expedition through in injury, I mean to seize this opportunity with both hands. The Azim Step. I always wanted to see it. The reigning ruby princess is more receptive to the outside world than her predecessor. It is true, but we what we offer is an invitation to war. Though I will plead our case, I fear we can expect little of Suino Sato. 
We have fought along, fought long and sacrificed much to reclaim our freedom. I will die before I allow the Empire to take it from us again. Alright, alright. It is settled then. I will journey to the Azim Steppe with the Scions. Yugiri and Hakuro, I leave our other neighbors to you. My apologies, but I won't be joining you. I am no etherologist, and what skills I do possess are unlikely to be of any great use to the mission. But more importantly, it seems to me that the ruins in the burn warrant attention. And so, while you are away securing an energy source, I will engage our friends at Garland Ironworks to undertake a complete overhaul of the field generators. We'll need them in good working order if our plan is to succeed. I trust there are no objections. Come on, Alice. Could you not get Katataro to do it? <laughs> Come on, seriously. Hmm. I'm sure she'd love the burn. Joking aside, I was planning to enlist her help with organizing everything, but we'll still need a scion on the ground. Don't worry, I'm sure you'll manage without me. Good luck. But isn't Tataru a scion? Isn't she? Is she not a scion? <sighs> no Popoto love. No, none at all. Just the three of us then. Very well. Shall we make for our first for? Well, shall we make first for re reunion? I'm very tongue-tied today, which means I definitely shouldn't have a drink before I, at five o'clock before I finish dreaming. I'm gonna have one tonight though. I needed it after yesterday. After yesterday, I need it. I was very nervous before the procedure. I always get nervous before that. You know, getting put under is. It's kind of scary, you know, I'm, and you're laying there, and then they give you a sedative, right? Just to, to calm you down. And then you're already, like, you're feeling drowsy, but you can still hear. Uh, and they're, like, telling you to do stuff, we'll move a certain way, blah, blah, blah. And then they hit you, they put the uh, the stuff that t they puts you under, and I'm fighting it. I'm fighting so bad, and then all of a sudden, pff, black. Black. And then and then I, I wake up, like, 30 minutes later, and just, like, it's done. It's it's kind of a scary thing where you just you don't remember anything. Ugh. Ugh. Oh well. <sighs> it's done. Alright, so we're going to reunion. Plus I was anxious. I was anxious about them finding anything, which they said everything looked good. For the most part, so that's good. But it was, you know, it's scary when you know they're they're looking for stuff. And and if there was something really wrong, I would want to know and not just and sit there and not take care of it. But uh, it's just it's just ang ang anxious and anxiety and stress. So this is the Zim step. The tales do not do it justice. If you think the view is impressive here, wait until we reach higher ground. Actually, seeing as it's your first visit, permit me to show you my favorite spot. <sighs> I will never tire of this vista. The endless fields, the boundless skies. Tis a sight to make a man forget his cares. But not his purpose, I trust. Oh yeah, high latency. Whatever. We had barely any internet connection. Might this be a fitting moment to tell us what we are doing here? Of course. During my time with the Mole, I learned some few myths of this land. One goes thus. In the distant past, when all seemed doomed, uh -oh. a wayfaring soul came unto the steppe. Venturing into the northern crag, he received of Nama a sliver of her essence, a shard of the shining moon, and with it clove the tainted land from the earth. The end thus averted, to these fields did the wayfaring soul return, 
and venturing once more into the northern crag, he buried the shard and made unto the heavens an offering of blood. A tainted land cloven from the earth and an offering of blood to the heavens, as is La and Dalamud. That was my thinking, yes. And you believe that yonder mountains hide an artifact possessed of sufficient power to raise Azizla up to the heavens. I suppose that might suffice. Worth a closer look, would you say? I would. All right, all right, we are, are uh oh, is it going crazy again? Please don't go crazy. We have to go, where are we going? Oh shit, that's right, we're on the, um, I have to get the green plus resumed. Ah, damn it, hold on, I gotta start with new game plus again. All right, new game plus. waiting a little bit, but it doesn't look like it's going too low. So, I... Uh... Right, so we gotta go over here. Oh, that's alright, we had to go to Mole Elo first. So that that is Zermina. At least told me something of the woman, but I did not think that we would ever have occasion to meet. Tell me, do you notice anything different about the mole? How they carry themselves? That, my friend, is pride. I do believe their victory in the Nottam meant more to them than I realized. He and Rislin, I am glad of your visit and the opportunity to welcome a new friend. How may we serve you? There is a matter I would discuss with the Mole. It concerns not only the peoples of the steppe, but of every land in the Far East. The shard of the shining moon left behind by a wayfaring soul, and you need this to protect our lands? I do. My friends and I wish to find the shard and ascertain the extent of its power. Will you tell me more of this place where it lies buried? This northern crag? If that is your wish, in the mountains to the north there is a cavern called the House of the Crooked Coin. Inside this cavern are pillars of stone that legend holds to be the source of Nama's power. There I believe you will find what you seek. Ah, yes, I know the place. Tis a brisk walk from here. And what are your thoughts on the an 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 alliance? Should the Empire return, our lands will be engulfed in a storm of conflict, whether we will it or no. If we do not stand together, we will fall apart. This I believe with all my heart. However... However... the tribes of the steppe, there are those who revere Nama above all else. To them the pillars are sacred and not to be disturbed. Should you proceed as you propose, such tribes are like to spurn an alliance, prompting others to follow their example. That is my concern. 
but it is by no means certain that the pillars will provide the power you seek. Ere you risk the ire of the followers of Nama, why do you not first visit the House of the Crooked Coin? If all is as you hope, you may then consider how best to earn their blessing. I thank you for your counsel. We will do as you suggest. I have no desire to give offense to those with whom I would join hands. Thank you for, un for your understanding. Though the mole may reign over the step today, this decision will shape the days to come, and we would not force others into war against their will. Nor would we. A hundredfold stronger are they who choose to fight on their own accord. Getting there, Chewie. We're getting there, Dewey. Alright. It seems the time to come the time has come to put my skills to use. Pray lead the way to the house of the crooked coin. Gotta smack that hand, right, Ian? Gots to do it. Alright. We get to see Magni again. I know you love Magni, BB10. You love that guy. Come, I mean, cause who doesn't love Magni? I think we're gonna get to hang out with him again. Yes, cause she can only see ether. Ever since her, um, she ended up in the ethereal ethereal sea, and we actually plucked her out after everything that happened in um, the end of ARR. When she came back, she can only see ether now. Well, it certainly looks powerful, but powerful enough that you'll have to ask the ask expert. That doesn't look, uh, I don't know, does that look elegant or not? I'm not sure. Such an abundance of ether. Are we in luck? We are. This is an elegant artifact, most likely built to regulate the flow of ether. I strongly suspect the ancients used it to stem the flow from here to the burn. That would explain how they were able to untether what became Azisla from its surroundings. Hmm. But were we to throw open the floodgates, the resultant deluge would surely be sufficient to raise our wall. And in restoring the flow, we may also restore life to the wasteland. Hmm. Chewie, no, hold on. Get out of the way. Chewie, I can't see. Get down. What is it? While the device itself harbors a surfeit of ether, the opposite is true of the surrounding area. Hmm. An effect of regulation, perhaps. A similar phenomenon seemed to be occurring in Doma. Whatever the explanation, the answer will not reveal itself here. We have seen what we needed to see. Let us return to Mol Illo. Interesting. Now what next? We're on what quest? The Will of the Moon. Uh, okay. Yeah, we're, we're, we're getting there. We're getting there. We're in this cave. Here we go. Yeah, Chewie likes getting right in front of my screen at the worst moments. Like, at the absolute worst moments. Like, when I'm in the middle of a, like, a, a raid or something. Where I'm playing with other people and I have other people's lives at stake. He decides he's got to get right in front of my screen. You 
found that which you seek, then? Great indeed is the Dusk Mother's power. If not, less will suffice, suffice to protect our lands. The blessing of the other tribes must now be sought. Of course, but to which tribe should we appeal? There are many who worship Nana, but none are so fervent in their faith as the Dotharo. Their consent shall be the key. Oh boy. The, the, the Dotharo. Lee spoke of them. A warlike tribe possessed of unique customs and beliefs. I sense their cooperation will not be easily won. Nay, but it will be well worth the effort. The Dotharl fear nothing, death least of all, and our alliance would be greatly strengthened by their presence. Let us go to Dotharl. The God, why cannot I say that word? Dotharl Ka and treat with their Katun, Sadu. You like Sadu, though, right? Everybody likes Sadu. <laughs> yes, she will kick our butts. Sadu will do it for the joy of butt kicking. She doesn't need any other reason to kick your butt other than how good it feels to kick your butt. That's why she would do it. Alright, we gotta get all the way over there. Why does it have to be so far? Why don't they have an etherite crystal at their, at their home? Yeah, connection's looking a lot better. A lot better. I don't know what Comcast was doing earlier, but... I bet it had something to do with the outage... Down the... Sh well, it's not down the street, but like... Maybe a about a couple miles away. There's, uh, yeah, I think there's a, a solo duty that comes up. I don't, I, for, I don't remember how we get into it, what brings us into it, but yeah. Great faith gives rise to, the, to, to great strength, for better or for worse. Whether, whatever it is that Dotharl holds sacred, we would do well to accord in all respect. Despite her fondness for battle, Sadu is an astute leader. If we plead our cause in earnest, I am certain she can be persuaded. You again. Other matters demand our time, Ga uh, Kagan. Or is it Khan? I don't know. Unless it is battle you seek. Alas, not. Opposite. Quite, o quite the opposite, in fact. Talking, always talking. You say the pillars hold great power? Of course they do. They are the source of Nama's strength. To the Dotharl, no place is more sacred, and we will make ash of any who would defile it. Though I see this is not your wish. You see the wisdom of our proposition, then. You will join hands with us? I said nothing of joining hands. You wish to wield Nama's power to defend these lands, and this I will allow. But for leaving the step to fight the men in iron, I would have something in return. Namely. <laughs> Namely, battle. With you, Gahan. The Nadam ended ere it began. I would face you again alone, without distractions. Defeat me, prove yourself the stronger, and you shall have the Dotharl as your allies. Surely these are agreeable terms. Well, this is a not wholly unexpected turn of events, though I had assumed I would be the one required to fight. Alas, the cartoon has made her choice. Well, shall we dance? <laughs> Let's do it. 
Let's do it. Ha! It shall be the battle of the step. The battle of the step shall not soon forget. Ah, already my soul burns brighter. Prepare yourself, Kahan, and await me outside the Ka. I will gather my witnesses and join you anon. Alright, well, let's do it. It's not like I haven't battled uh, fiercer opponents, even though Saru is pretty fierce. Where are we going? Oh, here. Aha! Aha! Solo duty. Try as I might, I fail to see the logic in this arrangement. I can but conclude there is none. <laughs> when I was little, I would stride up to Gosetsu, wooden sword in hand, and challenge him. To his credit, he never held back, and I had many a bump and bruise to show for it. <sighs> it flies away to chair, yes. I remember this one being a pain in the ass, though, I, I think. I remember it being hard for me to get through it. We'll see if it's hard again. But... Yes! This spot shall serve as well as any! I shall enjoy this Han! Is this truly necessary? Have you no peaceable way of making decisions? Speak not of peace! You stand before proud warriors of the Dothal. In the heat of battle do our souls burn brightest! We lay low the strong that we may rise higher! That is our way! The way of might! There is no other! Oh, they do not want for conviction. <laughs> Indeed. It's what makes them such dangerous enemies. And such useful allies. Enough talk! It is time to fight! Alright, well, let's go. Yeah, I guess it's Han. I don't know. You know what? I think even the, the the voice actors, they don't even they're not even all on the same page all the time either. I mean machinations, really? Machinations. <laughs> well, this is a lot easier when I have uh, uh oh. I think I gotta get a kill. Strong indeed, a worthy champion of the step. But you are mistaken if you think I will fall so easily. I don't think it's a British pronunciation. Machination is pretty this is pretty standard. In death you are so sing! Oh boy. Do our soul sing! Ah, your fighting you is pure bliss! Such sweet pleasure, I will not suffer to end so soon. Oh, fuck's sake, Sad! Come on! <laughs> Come on! Uh oh, I gotta kill these things. <laughs> It is the British pronunciation? Well, whatever. My soul demands more, Khan. 
Give me more. No, I don't want to give you any more. Come on, just die already. Uh oh. In death to ourselves. I gotta kill these things. Do our soul sing. All right, I think I did it. Well, yeah, they they like their fighting walls. No, can't stop! Chewie, stop it! <laughs> Chewie, no! My arms grow heavy, my eyes dim, but so long as my love blood flows, I will fight on! Ah, uh, for fuck's sake. Power bones! Sorry's heaven's plane. Oh my god. Oh my god, what is going on? <laughs> so much. In death do our soul sing. Alright, did I finish it? Please tell me I finished it. Has my soul burned so? Come, we have only just begun. Come on, no, we haven't. We're done. <laughs> Enough. You were not granted leave to set the step ablaze. Uh oh, that guy pissed. Well, well. The sun has come out to play. Be gone, Moonstruck or near. I am busy. Fool of a Dothal. Have you forgotten the face of your master already? The sun will never set. From his seat on high, he reigns over all, now and forever. <laughs> These are like great. Yet what should he find here but a battle to determine the fate of the step? A battle waged without his blessing. This will not stand. You, Doman! You who come to petition the warriors of this land, forget that all Nama's children are wards of the Oranir. As first among my brothers, your petition is mine alone to judge. No, not at all. <laughs> Ugh, these words are as wind from a horse's backside. Plentiful, but your act sings more sweetly. Let her speak for you. Ah, <laughs> oh, shit. Insolent child. You will learn your place. Forgive me, Brother Magni, but we have an arrangement with the Dothal. We will not abide any interruptions. <laughs> so be it. The sun will pass judgment on all. Didacul, join me. Who this? Alone. 
Beg <laughs> not for mercy, for you will have none. Bear witness to the power and the glory of Azim! Constantly at each other's throats like rabid dogs. God, I'm turning into her. <laughs> <clears throat> I have not the patience for this, but if we must fight, let us at least be brief. Come. Oh, that's right, I get to play as, uh, I think, Ishtola now. Here of the seventh dawn. Hopefully, this won't take long. I only got four of four, four of the white mage's abilities. It's not a lot. Or die! Dang it! Come on! Stop! I gotta heal him. Bow down before me! We gotta kill one of these things. Oh, he in! Oh shit. I gotta kill that one. Kill or die! This, is, this kinda sucks with that all of the freaking white mage's abilities. Did it give me barely any anything to God dang it? Oh, wrong thing. Run button. No, I didn't attack he and I die. Problem is I was trying to use my stone, not the one that that that's uh, bound to uh, whatever. My um, muscle memory keeps kicking in for these abilities. Oh, I'm still the wrong guy though. Bow down before me. All right, so this is here. Alright, here we go. 
no, but it, it wouldn't have. I can't attack my uh, my allies. I can't attack them. Kneel or die. At least he is helping me you now. Dude, that dude just ran off. Bow down before me. No. Tremble before the sun. This thing's that okay, you know what? We're just gonna kill him. Oh shit. I guess we're doing here. Oh, he is taking care of it. Let us be about it! Uh-oh. Active time maneuver? Probably. Uh... Yep, active time maneuver. I hate these. These are like... I almost hate them as much as I hate quick time events. Well, I got to do it. Woo! Got through it. Ugh. Never have I felt such bliss in defeat. Was a battle to burn soul and flesh to ash. We Dothal will lend you our strength as promised. Norma's power is yours to wield. What does the sun say to that? <laughs> the sun is not driven by base motives such as yours. Oh, really? But I, they have been judged and found worthy. It is the way of the Oranir to accord recognition and respect to the strong. You have made sufficient proof of your strength. The sun shall answer your call. You have our thanks. We are glad to call you allies. You? By what are you called? Uh oh. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> you stole her. Why? Oh no. Are you? Are you my Nama? <laughs> oh no! It is unstable. I beg your pardon? In battle, you shone with all the majesty of the full moon's light. Your healing touch, the embodiment of the Dusk Mother's love. Long had I wondered if my Nama might not be a woman of the steppe. Beholding you, I am all but certain. Oh no. <laughs> no. Make I stop. 
Now, look into my eyes. Could it be? Could you be? I am. Not interested, little son. Try again when you've become a man. Ouch! Waits for word of our success. <laughs> We're just gonna leave. We're just gonna leave. Fuck. <laughs> we stole a little fire and she's just like, ah, we're gone. Oh my gosh, little son. Little son. Oi! Yeah, Ishtola was having none of that. None of it. Offended? Not in the least. I am no stranger to clumsy propositions, and that, to believe it or not, was far from the worst I have heard. <laughs> right? It's the best. It's the best. I'm sure Ishtola has, got, has guys hitting on her all the time. Magni's unannounced appearance had me worried for a moment, but it was not his day to shine. Still, I cannot fault the man's bravery. <laughs> Poor Magni. Oh, the dead dude is just a one-track mind. You had not only to contend with Saturn, but Magni too? Such a fierce battle that must have been. Yet here you stand triumphant. Having passed such a test, they could not well deny you their allegiance. The Mole will have no such demands. Weak though we are, we will gladly stand by you. The step is our home, and we will defend it with all our being. You have my heartfelt thanks. Of all the tribes of the step, there is none I would rather have at my side. God's willing, many more will rally to our calls. I shall send you word when we have answers from all the tribes. I cannot thank you enough, Serena. None of this would have been possible without you. That's you have no idea how, how mad this is making me today. Alright. We have the requisite cons consent. Tis time to put Nama's power to use. If the ether flows as planned, all that remains is to have the Ironworks engineers do their work at the ruins. Come, let us return to the house of the Crooked Coin. And it dropped down to zero again. Uh, don't have anything running in the background. No. Why would it be giving up these problems? I feel like something's something's definitely going on with the network. Oh, come on. Is are you still getting the uh Are you getting any lag? Not in the game right now, so. Oh. It's now it's just uh, it's low and it's sitting in the red.
I shall begin at once. You may wish to step back. Did it work? It did. Ether may flow freely to the burn once more. Oh boy. 